and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2. Alright, so we actually finished paying off our debt last time. We're at over 10,000 already. But we're still in a cave and we need to finish the cave, so let's keep going. I forget how many levels uh, Frontier Cavern has. I think it's like 8 or 9. So we're about halfway through-ish. I know it won't break 10. I don't think they break 10 till like like some of the late late game caves. Ooh, this is a nice. Oh, huh. Okay, so before we do anything, let's take a quick look around. Blue flower. Ooh, purple flower. I want that one. And a white flower. Okay. So I guess how do I want to do this then? I still think, well, I don't want to get rid of too many reds of the thing, so maybe some reds and some yellows. I want to make sure I have plenty of blues because there are some water treasures from what I remember. Hmm. Okay, hold on a second. Hi there. All right, you know what? Let's bring our normal Pikmin. I was gonna try to do this just with the captains, but eh, let's play it safe. Where are my purples at? Usual strategy of stun lock them to death. Oh, those things though. Actually, those things. Hold on, man. Louis might be able to take on those guys on their, his own. And yeah, this is a normal rest floor, but theoretically, there is a treasure somewhere in here. Are you guys guarding one? You guys are water. Oh, no, you're water. Oh, God, never mind. You still hurt. There we go. Yeah, for you, though, I am definitely going to need my purples and my reds. Purples, purples. Oh, no. G game, I don't care about it. I'll grab it later. Okay, never mind. That's the treasure I was looking for before, though. It's the one that boosts po uh, punch strength. For some reason, I thought this was in a later cave, but I guess not. Oh, that could have actually been bad, because I lost complete control of my uh, Pikmin there for a second. Because the cutscene was triggering. That's fine, though. Alright, and for the last one... Where are my blues at? What the heck just happened there? Also, please get off the exit. No, I don't want to leave. This is why I want to get off the exit. The punch button and the uh, interact button are the same, so I might accidentally chop out of the dungeon if I'm not careful. I'm gonna punch you. Alright, so we just got the Rocket Fist now. Do I have to leave for that to take effect, or... Nope, I can just do that now. I just got the ability to Rocket Punch. Ow! Oh, no, 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 no. How did you get here? Where did you... Hold on a minute. How did you get... Okay, I guess you snuck in there when I wasn't looking. Anyway, that's the only treasure on the floor. Let's, uh, grab all the Pikmin. There's the exit to the next floor. And right, I need to actually get some more Pikmin as well. So I think I'm gonna turn five red and five... yellows. Yeah, I'm gonna turn five reds and five yellows. Because I'm pretty sure we're still gonna need blues for later on. Thank you. 
so red Pikmin are going to be purples. And then yellows are going to be whites. Okay, we're good. I also saw a honey egg earlier. I don't need any more blue, so I think I'm okay. Oh, right, that's right. We also got the rocket punch. So if we just hit A three times in a row, it's basically just a harder punch. It is actually extremely helpful, because now captains are pretty much able to reliably take on smaller enemies on their own. Which in caves can be good, because they can just scout ahead and take care of them while the uh, squad kind of stays back and stays safe. Especially for the really annoying enemies to take out. Alright, is that everyone... I want as many I want as many purples as possible to get the honey. Uh I think I can go on a lot of the purples. Okay, let's go. Let's keep moving. Let's see what's around here, other than wooden structures. Actually, you know what? Let's do the usual. Uh, Louie, you go scout ahead. So I see fire, I see boulders. Well, if these guys are here, you know what that means. Oh, that did not go the direction I thought it would. Is there any other enemies? In oh, whoops. Oh, wait. Boulders can close those off as well? Huh. Hold on a minute. That changes things, actually. Oh, wait, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute. For some reason, I thought Baldman didn't, like, spawn until... I could have sworn Baldman didn't spawn until, uh, what is it? Until you had at least ten open spots. Hold on a second. We're fine. Oh, that did more damage than I thought it did. Or I thought it would. We're fine. There we go. We just got ourselves our first Baldman. And probably our only Baldman for now. So, Baldmen are basically, like I said, every single type of Pikmin put together. Except purples. They're not purples, unfortunately. Which makes purples even more valuable. So, yeah. Basically, a Baldmen will is waterproof, fireproof, electric-proof, poison-proof, I think. Like I said, the only thing they are not is heavy and strong. But, yeah. We'll be taking advantage of Baldmen if we have to. Also, can I just do this? Oh, no. That is not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Ooh, Lou is looking a little rough here. Can I just get you two to just, like, smack each other with boulders? Oh, that actually worked surprisingly well. There are also a, a comfortable amount of boulders rolling around right now. Uh, can you come here? Oh, I was gonna hope. I was gonna try to get to close off this uh, fire spout. Oh well. This is also why I need a blue Pikmin, by the way. This level right here. How about you? Can I get? Uh, I'll probably need that. No, you know what? For you, I'll probably gonna need an actual like um. to use my actual Pikmin. I'm also not going to risk you hitting that uh, fire trap right there. Ow. 
Actually, this one we might just want to bring our Pikmin to actually take out. Then again, it seems to be stuck. Yeah, I think it's a little stuck here. That's fine. I mean, I'll take it out the safe but slow way. Okay, uh, still took a little damage there, but that's fine. Alright, so that should be all the enemies taken care of, so let's start collecting the treasures. Um, let me just make sure there's nothing buried over here. Because if there is, that's gonna be a problem. Nope, these are completely pointless. Oh, right, I left my Bulbman behind, whoops. Get over here. Alright, so I'm just gonna need my blue Pikmin for this one. How many do I have left? Uh, 20. I guess that's all I started with. Oh, you can come along too. Congratulations, Baldman. You are running sideways for some reason. So let's grab as much stuff as we can get. So you guys get that chest piece. What is that sound? Oh wait, that's some background music. It's why is the background music like that weird? Don't go to the fire. No, we're good. Speaking of the fire, is there buried treasure over here? No, no. If there was buried treasure over there, it would have stayed like constant. But since it was going down as the treasure was moving away, we're good. I don't even know if I want to bother getting the bodies at this point. They're worth almost nothing, and we're already past our debt limit. You know what? It's not worth it. I'm just gonna get the treasures and move on. Oh, that's actually a really nice chess piece. It looks like... Okay, it could either be marble, or it could just be wood that's painted to look like marble. Still, that's a pretty nice looking chess piece right there. Can any more people help out? No, we're good. That's all who can help out. Man, I'm gonna feel bad about leaving the Baldman behind though. They're so cute. But I think they can't survive outside of a cave, so unfortunately, we won't be able to bring it with us back to the onions. Uh, is that all the treasure? Yep. Moving on. I hear sleep. Oh, yeah, there's sleeping enemies here. Hold on a minute. While they're asleep, where are my purples? No, 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 no. Okay, never mind. We are not going in, a, like, straight away. 
I would love to take him out while they're still asleep. I'm just worried about that. That's what I'm worried about. There are random boulder traps on this floor. Great. Ooh, white flower. Honestly, we might be able to start converting blues. Yeah, you know what? Let's convert some blues. Unfortunately, well, probably fortunately, I don't think we can convert Bulbmen into other types of Pikmin. The flowers will not accept Bulbmen. Okay, uh, that thing's dead, right? Yeah, we killed it already. Hold on a minute. I'm just gonna take a quick look around and make sure we can trigger as many boulder traps as possible. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna bring a tiny squad of purples with me. make taking out the... I already lost purple, didn't I? Oh, no. We, we survived. Never mind. We're good. Ooh. Yep. There's... Oh, no. Hold on. Okay. Dear God. These boulders absolutely hate me. I see treasure over there. Nope. Nope. Get away from there. Let me try and take out all the small guys before I worry about the big one. Unfortunately, I don't think we can take advantage of these boulders to kill enemies for me, right? Oh my god. Okay, are we good? I think I've cleared out a bunch of them at least. I'm gonna go get more purple Pikmin so I can take out these enemies. And then I'm just gonna have, like, Omar just run through the entire cave to trigger as many traps as possible. Because, like I said, I do not trust this cave at all. Okay, uh, all the enemies have been taken care of, so that's good. Like I said, their bodies aren't worth very much, so I'm not too worried about bringing them back anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through, I'm going to touch the treasure and make sure that no boulders drop. So, exit is that way. Or, yeah, uh, forward is that way. Yep, there they are. I knew it. Alright. I think we've disarmed the treasure. Let me go grab my Pikmin. Actually, Louie, get over here. You bring the Pikmin. Also, is there anything buried on this floor? I guess we'll know once we uh, pick this thing up. It really doesn't matter what brings it back, just be careful. Alright. Oh, wait, wait, hold on a minute, what? Oh, there is treasure buried here. Oh, no wonder my radar wasn't picking it up. It was literally right next to- what is that? Oh, is that a frisbee? That is a tiny frisbee if it- no, that's a yo-yo, never mind. Aw, oh, man, I remember when yo-yos were popular when I was a kid. I don't know if they're still popular. I'm gonna be honest. Yo-yos were popular because everyone like saw the cool tricks you could do with them, and then everyone would play with them for like a few days before realizing we were all terrible at yo-yos, and we never really got too far into it. But that's my yo-yo story. Nice little bell for us, the spouse alert. Flame killer. I don't know about that name. I guess it does have flames on it. Okay, that's uh Yep, that's everything. We'll bring back the last of these bodies and then we'll get out of here. It is getting a little crowded under the ship, though. So 
someone probably bring it back a bit faster. Thank you. Alright, so I think we're actually getting pretty close to the end here. I think it's like another floor or two, and we should be at the end. The cave, or the boss in this one can be a bit of a pain. So let's see how it goes. I managed to have an entire army of Pikmin with me. But, wait, what? Oh, wait, I never picked them. Whoops. I knew I forgot to use something. Hold on. I forgot. I converted some Pikmin to white Pikmin. I just never picked them up. Uh, one second. Oh, good. They're flowers because I forgot about them for so long. Oh, wait. What? How did I... Wait, hold on a second. How did I lose a Pikmin? Where? I am genuinely confused on how a Pikmin man should die on me. The Bulbman... No, the Bulbman's right there. Is there something around here that... No, I cleared all the, the uh, hazards. What died? Oh, that was weird. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, keep moving. Did I leave? No, I picked all the I picked all the white Pikmin, right? That wouldn't kill them, would it? Okay, I'm genuinely confused on where that last Pikmin went. Whatever. And I was so proud about having a hundred, well, ninety nine Pikmin and one Bulbman with me. All right, boss. Yeah, boss time. So this boss can be really annoying. So what I want to do is I basically want to split my captains apart. Uh, Olimar will probably be on back duty and Louie will be on the front duty. First things first. I want my actual, like, army with me. So let's throw all of our reds. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's the annoying part right there. Okay, let's grab our purples up here as well. Alright, you know what? That's good enough. So what I want to do here, I want Olimar to go on grub duty. So the boss of this one, as we will see pretty soon, once we find it, you can already hear it. Oh, good. They drop honey. I forgot about that. Is, where is it? There it is. It's the emperor. It's the empress again. The thing about this one, though, is unlike the other one, this one will basically spawn these little guys this entire battle, which can be really annoying. Fortunately, they die in a single hit to the captains. So what I want to do is I want the captains to basically stay back here, or at least one captain to stay back here, and just continuously kill them. Meanwhile, the other captain is basically going to do the actual battle. Uh, I think as long as we are careful, Omar should be able to take care of the other ones, like the AI- oh, okay, no, he's taking damage. We're basically going to want to swap between the two of them as much as possible. Uh, theoretically, we could also just have Omar tank the hits. Oh, there's so much honey here, though. So yeah, Omar is basically just going to be bait, while Louie does the actual battle on the front. So it's the exact same battle as last time, we just have to deal, we just have to, uh, deal damage when it's not roaming around. I'm going to be trusting the AI to basically survive long enough. So what I'm going to do is throw Pikmin, okay, get away from there. It's going to do its rolling attack. This will also take care of all the little guys that managed to get underneath. Yeah, Omar is literally just being the tank right now. I think some got... Okay, no, I think some got into the back burner. Killing my Pikmin. Ooh. Okay, while that's happening, Omar, just take care of them all. I just want to watch Omar's health. If it gets too low, 
Uh, we'll have him rejoin the front. Okay, Omar's time. We good? Fortunately, when it's rolling around, it doesn't spawn any more uh, babies. Uh, no, you know what? No, I'm not gonna risk it. That is so. Oh, I lost two Pikmin because of that. Eh. Yeah, that was the risk. Unfortunately, a couple of Pikmin got stuck on it and still died. It's fine, though. We got it. So, yeah, that battle can go really badly if you're not careful. Because those little guys can do a ton of damage. Fortunately, since uh, they all died in a single hit, we basically just have a cabin play decoy. That's a shoe. A very, very stinky shoe. Maybe we should leave this one. Alright, ooh. Omar had a rough day, but you know what? It's fine. Someone take the body back. Also, that is so much honey. I'm gonna bring my entire Pikmin squad through here and take as much as I can. I'll let the uh, Pikmin get back first. Oh, I probably could have brought my Baldman in there, too. My singular Baldman. Isn't he adorable? Where is he? Uh, hold on. Isn't he adorable? Shame we're never going to see him again. Actually, no, that's a lie. There are two more caves where Baldman spawn. And I think I am going to try to do all the caves in the game. It's going to take a while, though. Actually, how many more caves are there left? There's two more left in the third area? Oh, it has a little bear on it, too. It also stinks. I guess it was a sign that don't leave a beast for a while. All right, well, we got the rush boots from that. So now we have more movement speed, which is actually really good. Although I think that does make it so that sometimes pick... Oh god, we are so much faster now. We do need to be careful not to leave our Pikmin behind, though. Especially the purples. They, they already have a hard enough time keeping up. Also, I'm gonna have... Oop. I'm gonna have Louie lead, just so we don't hear the beeping from Olimar's danger suit. I also kind of wish we could just store honey. Well, nectar. I really wish we could store nectar. Because all of this is gonna go to waste. Because, uh, is everyone a flower? Yeah, everyone's already a flower Pikmin. Man. Like, we could just, like, have a little sack that stores these so we can upgrade Pikmin at will. But no. Maybe it just doesn't store well for some reason. Okay. Well, we're done here. We are done here, and we are done- Yo, know, there goes our Baldman. Fare thee well, Baldman. I'm still curious on what killed that one Pikmin. Did I leave- I might have left a hazard behind somewhere I didn't close off. But yeah, we are now 100 done with the debt. We are now debt free. 10,000 Pocos. It only took like a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, President. Yeah, he's had a rough time back at the uh, back at home.
But it's been a good trip. At least this time we didn't have to worry about oh. At least this time we didn't have to worry about dying from like lack of life support. It was nice. It was like a nice little vacation. Also, we don't remember the purples or the white pick. Mint. Whoops. We forgot Louie. Well... Crap. So that's Pikmin 2. Um, we managed to pay off the entire debt. All we uh, kind of forgot was um, we forgot our co-worker back on the planet. To be fair... Okay, no, there is no to be fair here. Omar literally blasted off without Louie. So yeah, we're not actually done with the game. That's basically the first part of uh, Pikmin 2. There's still more to do. We still have some caves to explore, and obviously we're gonna need to deal with the fact that we left Louie back on an uninhabited planet with no life support. And he doesn't even have a ship with him, so yeah, we should probably go back for him. Although, to be fair, he looks like he's having a pretty okay time. Just kind of chilling. in this totally live-action world. I will say, I really like the, like, clay and live-action uh, art style this game has. In certain aspects, obviously. I don't know, it kind of reminds me a lot, like, it reminds me of the old Earthbound style. Like, all of their, like, uh, promotional materials have that same style. But yeah, Louis seems like he's having a decent time. Just chilling out by the water, climbing trees. Enjoying the nice sunshine and the blue skies. But yep, we spent uh, 18 days there, and lost 141 Pikmin, didn't leave any Pikmin behind, surprisingly no Pikmin burned or died to electricity, a lot less than I thought to explosions and poison, yeah overall pretty good run. 80 white Pikmin, took about 9 hours. But yeah, that was the uh, main part of Pikmin 2, but we're going back, because um, we need to go find Louie. Oh yeah, there's also still more caves we need to do. So now anything we collect is just straight up profit. And also Louie. But yeah, we are back on the planet. Our ship has been upgraded to a pure gold ship. We've unlocked the final area of the game with the last three caves of the game. Uh, we still have two, four, three more caves to do here. So Pikmin 2 is not over yet because we have two more areas to finish off. So next time on Let's Play Pikmin 2, uh, we're going to head back down to the surface, get some more treasure, and hopefully find Louie. So, till then.